cold. That's Tallahassee Lassie. That's the red hot rooster, Jackie. <laughs> Jackie see, Flavelle's a red hot rooster. I recognize that rooster. He's pushing it a bit, isn't he? <laughs> he certainly is. Jackie, you're no stranger to Bangor. You've been barred out of every pub here. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I come from Ballymena, Port Rush and Port Stewart would have been my summer hunts. But uh, my connection with Bangor, I was at Capronis twice. Through these portals, past the most beautiful women in the world. That's what he used to say about Capronis. That's right. And I was like you. I never clicked there. I was there twice, never clicked. Stood outside the toilets. They must have climbed out of the windows. But I was there once to see Dickie Rock, because we all followed Dickie. The second time, I can't remember the band. It may have been yours, though, because the bass guitarist fell off the stage. Well, I've done that before, but I wasn't allowed in Dickie Capronis. Uh, Milano's is my <laughs> down market, you know. Yeah. Jackie, you've had a busy year. I've had a busy year and coming into a busier year because I've just had a few weeks in Spain and I was talking to people out there and I realised, yeah, I should enjoy this holiday because I'm basically into eight months of the winter season. Uh, practically six days a week, Jerry, grandstand, uh, the night matches, commentating. Starting this Saturday with uh, Northern Ireland's opening World Cup game against Ukraine. Yeah. So I'm gearing myself up for that and Saturday people think this is a glamorous business and I suppose it is. When I look at you, <laughs> it, it obviously is. But I'll be up at uh, like eight o'clock Saturday morning doing the research. Yeah commentating the game, yeah. doing live inserts to the results, then staying on, presenting match of the day, Saturday night, 10.45. You'll see the highlights. So it's a long day, people say but great. It, people say that this season is going to be one of the busiest, most uh, spectacular seasons of all time, particularly even football. And you do more things than that, but particularly football. Football's got to the stage now. It's, it's huge. Oh, yes. I mean, I, I think it's getting too huge when you look across yeah. at England. E even here at home, people, players, a lot of players are looking for a lot of money and some of them may be average players. There's some good players and they deserve the money. But when you think that Alan Shearer, 15 million pound transfer fee, it's ridiculous. He's supposed to be on something like 25,000 a week. How does he live on it? How can he do but it? Uh, I think it's uh, the, the, the bigger clubs will get bigger and some of the smaller clubs may go to the wall. So I worry about that. What do you think you'd be worth now, Jack, if you were playing? I would think, well, I would say if, if Alan Shearer is worth 15 million, George Best would be worth about 40 million. And I would probably be in there about 37 and a half. I'm, I'm worth about <laughs> 17 and 6. Have you seen some of these hats here? I have indeed. I was talking to this lady. Hats. A Russian influence, yeah. I am told. Oh, sorry, this is your hat. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was these looking at the nice colours. Look, you, you make all these yourself? I do indeed, that's right. Yes. And design them? I do, yes. Yes, I do. I'll be back later for a fitting. Jackie, good luck, my son. Thank you, sir.